going on guys <clears throat> I was wanting to take since we done that polling and uh, played around with the muffler on it and the airflow for the carb I was thinking you know a couple of those home lights down there and uh, out of curiosity uh, I came down to take a look at one of them and sure enough <clears throat> this uh, this home light this is the 3514C that we done that we got running we originally picked it up for fifteen dollars it was uh... what my wife did it was at that uh... as people was moving and uh, fought with it and got it running now i did get a uh... i couldn't find a fourteen inch chain uh... well in the, the ones that i bought off of them so this craftsman's that i put, picked up uh... i went ahead and put the six inch calls for a fourteen inch bar but i went ahead and put that new craftsman sixteen inch bar on it and chain and uh, this one, I still got a, the air filter is just like seriously, seriously oil soaked. I mean, I know some people put oil in them to help collect dust, but this one is just like extreme. So I'm going to wash it out, um, which I should have had done already. I've never had time. Now this lid, the, ca the cover for it, where it goes over the carb, instead of being like at Poland, to where it was down the back here this one actually drops straight down from the top now you can see on the lid uh, you got these three holes or they're not actually holes they're they're what holds the uh, filter in place once it's when it's setting in here that's what actually holds the filter down you can see the little circle marks on it where it holds it and uh, as far as airflow goes you can see I'll make sure you can see here <laughs> the uh, once that filters in place where it sets just like that you can see the little circle marks where the, the cover holds it in place the air that comes in you have four little squares two on each side it comes up you know just flows over into it which isn't too awful bad and you know, it works now I was thinking not necessarily going to do it but what I was thinking was you have those two on each side and you can see where the uh, you can see where the shoulder where it holds it down in place so what I was kind of thinking which you know it's an older saw and I'm not too worried about it getting beat up and dinged up and, you know and all that is if I used a drill bit, you know, same size, you know, the inner diameter, and just and just ran the bit through to open those four up, you know, through the top right there, would it actually be worth doing as far as this saw getting better airflow to the carb, or just leave it, you know, the two on each side? Now the muffler. This thing's got a hogging muffler. I mean, it's not like big, giant muffler, but as far as restriction, man, I thought that pulling was bad. This dude is terrible. It um, wasn't too bad to take off. You just have uh, the one nut right here. It comes off. And there's the bottom one right here. I'll get it around where you can see it here see where that stud's sticking out so the bottom it sets like this and uh, this one you actually don't have to, oh yeah you do I'm sorry you have to take it off but this one there's a nut where it sticks through comes to the bottom you take that nut off then you got to take this one off to get this cover off which has a gasket that you got to take out then you got your screen that has to come off and then behind the screen if I can get it out of out of the way here, and you have your two holes for your two bolts where they go through. Now, man, you talk about restriction. You got these aren't open. These are like on that pole, and uh, I think I might still have them set in here. Yeah, here's one of them. Is these? those are what drops down through there so it's not like it's just an open hole so it goes all the way down sets down like that you know runs down to right here to where your screws come out you know and then bolts to the chainsaw to hold it in place 
so all you got is these little holes right here these couple little holes right here now I don't know if scam scam like it you gotta love that now yeah you can kind of see in there that's all that mesh and stuff that wire mesh that's in there so now it's got to go through all that balancing around inside of there just to come out these little teeny tiny holes right here so this is way more restrictive than that pulling is because eh, I definitely I can't get you to look down into the bottom real good but you can kind of see down in there so it has to go into that which is that thing isn't very big at all inside there and it, so it has to go in there bounce around all through there circulate and then drop down inside the muffler to come out these holes so I'm gonna see what I can do to uh, kind of open it up I don't know if I can get these to pop out like they did on the pole or not and uh, but I'm gonna try so if I can get those two to come out then it'll it'll open up the uh, you can see where hopefully you can see where it is right there so you know you got one on each side so if I can get them to come out you have two holes that'll that'll be there then I was thinking about drilling a, a hole straight down through the center and it'll come out where that mesh is at and then completely open the center up is where that's at it's uh this thing is like so restrictive it's crazy Cause even with the the factory holes there when you put this on it's over them so they got to go through and up and then come out through here and these are all they're all smashed down so I'm going to try to get them to open up a little bit also you know just bend them out and I ain't going to cut the whole piece off I'll just try to bend them out to open them up some and uh, see what we can do to get a little more flow and we'll take it out and see how it runs the um, uh, the other video where he's working on it you can kind of go to and see what it sounds like because it's uh, it's sleet and rain right now so I was going to take it out and uh, fire it up to get you know to try to see a difference in the video of how it sounds but it's uh, you know just OEM so it's just you know it sounds like a normal chainsaw but the uh, if it knocks off because we've got a bad snowstorm coming in today in Columbus so if, uh, if it'll slack off I'll take it out and fire it up just so we can hear how it sounds and then bring it back in and see what we can do to open this up and then take it out and fire it up again to see if we can see the difference all right, I'm going to get to it and I'll check the weather and if I can get it out there to fire it up I will. Alright so here's a little something I just figured out. Um, your muffler when putting it back on you need to because you got this rod right here where it slides through the bottom of the muffler. Uh, when you go to put it in it hits this nut right here which causes it to kick because this isn't it isn't um, like set in place it has a little groove in it which you can see so this comes out if you need to take it out for whatever reason and uh, so the problem is when you go to put it in it came right out I didn't have an issue with it coming out which I didn't think about uh, this moving around so it did it it kicked that out and gave it enough room to come out so you have this nut is a 10 millimeter and then uh, you have a star bit on this side so you have to take your bar off up here. So you have your bar and chain have to come off to where you can access that nut. And it is a star bit in a 10 millimeter, and it just comes right out, no problem. I mean, you can just move that out of the way and it'll come out. What that is, it's holding the. Um, the heat shield right here is holding it in place. So here's your nut. Get that back. Just back that up. And then right here where your stop bar is, there's, uh, you guys can't see that, but there's a screw in there that it was trying to catch. So we'll just back that out. Enough to where we know it ain't going to hit. I ain't taking it all the way out. Just enough to, to where it's flush in there. Put this back in place and there then your muffler should slide straight back on no problem just like that the problem i was having before is you go to go to put it in it kept trying to shove it to the side when it was it was kicking that out where it's in that slot 
uh, this bottom one where it's in that slot up in there it was kicking it out so you can still access you can get your two screws in uh, the bottom nut and put all that back together put your nut on there but you can still have access to get this back into the heat shield get the nut back on it and then just tighten that one back down and you're good to go so throw this back together and hopefully we can get it outside and fire it up all right so I went ahead <coughs> excuse me and well I got the clean the filter real good with Don dishwashing liquid so it's good to go I did take the cover you know, I was talking about uh, drilling these holes out so you have five of them and they set straight down on top of the filter now I only done three these three here because the other two would have put it would have came up through where the cover is for the uh, spark plug boot and what's got the only thing that has me really worried about it is uh, say you're out cutting and it starts storming so the only problem with this is if water if you know you get water or whatever if it gets something down in it then it's going to drop straight down onto your filter and that's you know straight access to your carbs so that's the only thing i'm really leery of um or if it's you know you have it in the back of your truck and it starts raining you know it's you know you're taking a chance of getting water down in here so that's the only thing i'm leery of i'm sure you could make a cover that could not necessarily cover these up but you know to make something to cover the hole up to where the air could go this way and then down um, would work um, but I know all the stuff I've ever cut I've never been out in the rain doing it and all the soils I've ever had that's used you know for cutting they've always uh, had a case so I know that everybody doesn't have a case which you know is a fact because I got multiple chainsaws sitting here that don't have cases anyway so now I'm going to try to get all this back together, get this muffler back on it, see if I can get outside and get this thing fired up so we can hear the difference between how it sounds um, with this muffler on it and how it sounds after I try to manage to do something to open it up. So we get this back together, we'll take it outside and fire it up. Alright, see so if we get this dude to fire up. i got to make it quick. It's still sleeting. I got Got fuel in it, bore oil. See if she'll fire up, and I hope. Yeah, on might help. I think I got the uh, muffler figured out. So I took a drill bit and uh, oh, it's in a drill. <laughs> so I couldn't get uh, on the pole and how we took uh, these pieces out of it. I couldn't get those to come out on this home light. So they're still in it, which is no big deal. So. <clears throat> 
where you could look up through there and you could see where like all the mesh and all that was. I took a uh, size is this dude three eighths. Use a small bit to start a pilot hole, and then uh, use my three eighths. Ran through, got to the chamber in there. Done the same thing. Took it at that three eighths. It's, it's a little dull, so started a pilot hole in that one and just ran it all the way through, and it pops out right above where uh, your exhaust hooks. It's just like uh, probably about just above midways of this hole is uh, just like right behind it right here so I'm not going to even try to attempt to notch that out or anything I think it'll be good enough uh, I was going to uh, drill these out just get a small bit just open it up there and then you know another one over here but that's a direct hit so I don't think it will really be necessary I mean it's you know home saw so uh, I think that should be good enough now I did take this front cover and where the uh, the pieces the fins are on it it sets like this and directs the airflow this way from the saw now in the earlier part of the video when I was showing you you can see how how closed they were they were really smashed down so I opened them up I just used a uh, flathead screwdriver and just wiggled it down in there enough to get it started you know, and just kept rocking it back and forth and you could get it in there and, you know, and then really crank on it you know to twist back and forth and they start opening it up just be careful you don't you know jam that down in there if you depend on what size screwdriver you have and you end up catching yourself in the palm uh, so it opened it up pretty good so we'll see how much of a difference it makes uh, it should be alright because it's uh, the hole that I put in it it's 3 8 in diameter and it sets directly behind these so that should make a difference I think as far as flow goes so we'll see I'll get it all back together we'll take it right back out and hopefully it quits sleeting so that all this wetness is down here some more everything that yeah it still has some on it there but uh, it is coming down nasty there's probably about a half an inch out there and we still got a bunch of snow that can't get ready to come on top of it so I'm gonna hurry up and get this back together get it back out there and we'll see if we can tell the difference all right guys hope this thing fires up so we can see if there's a difference on this time <laughs> oh yeah gotta love that got a couple pumps like I say so we didn't do much for a mod on the muffler but hopefully it's enough to make a difference on this maybe maybe not who knows Open the fins up on it there, so I can flow some. Boy, it's coming down. Whew. If you guys can see that or not, I'd imagine you could. It is coming down. We're supposed to get, uh, let's see, upwards of seven inches by Friday morning. Not looking forward to that because everything you see right here, it's white, is all ice. It's been falling since uh, about 3 a.m. this morning. That's 
over a half an inch thick. It's all sweet and nice. So, uh, yeah, today we actually beat the, dar uh, the dark or the, you know, the sun going down today. Well, it's still cloudy as can be, but uh, roads are bad enough. Work sent us home early. So, stick that over there. I think he's in and getting to the kiddos rabbit. They're supposed to be, I don't know how accurate that is, but I was told that they like apple wood, so it helps keep their teeth down. But that's it for the saw, guys. Uh, I don't know if that actually helps anybody out or not, but uh, I think it made a difference. I don't know how well of a difference you can tell on camera, but you know, being out here, I can definitely hear the difference. Like I was saying, those three holes, though, you get caught in uh, the other two would be there, but they'd come up around where the spark plug sets at. And I didn't want to have running any ignition issues if it gets wet. So those three are right directly above. I mean, they only run straight down into the air filter, so it gives it more air. Besides, you know, the two on each side there, underneath. But uh, I'll wrap it up with that. You guys, just use your best judgment on that. See if you think it's something that's worth doing. Uh, I cannot remember what size drill bit I used for that, but I used the same just where it was just like a snug fit going down to those tubes and just you know pop those three out and then three eighths on the uh, on the exhaust and straighten the fins and that's it. You know, tweak the carbon a little bit off camera and get it to run a little better, but uh, I'll leave it with that. You guys use your best judgment on there. You know, for 15 bucks, this saw I mean you can't beat it, man. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get my butt in here out of this weather. It's getting crazy. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you at the next one.